this is the aftermarket report with Jim in Vegas. Today's date is October the 25th, 2018, and I'm going to turn it right over to Vegas, and she's going to introduce what we're going to talk about today. Hi, everyone. Hope everyone had a good trading day. Um, I am going to just list the stocks we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about TTNP, Mosey, M-O-S-Y, Ears, Pura OTC stock, MRIC OTC stock, and last but not least, the Amazon and the drama behind those FANG stocks. So uh, first, I am going to just briefly touch on TTNP, just really talk about the open and uh, what was being looked at on type 10 pharmaceuticals. Uh, the market opened the stock at 53.5. And um, a low was at 38. And I'm going to let Jim talk about how he traded that, I think, eight times today. Yep, sure did. Okay, so Jim's going to talk about his scalping and how he grew that account, too. Yep. Well, here's here's uh, Titan. And I want to let everybody know I've started a $1,000 challenge a couple of months ago. And I started with $1,000. Had a little difficulty at first, but I adjusted my, my trading plan and Today, I brought it up to over $3,000 within about two and a half months. And I took, and I also withdrawed a little bit of money out to pay for a month's rent. So actually, I'm about up $3,700 on that thing. And so we're going to talk about TTNP. I want to look at the chart. We've been called this thing out when it was real low down here, around 24 cents. And we took the run and we ran it all the way up to resistance here at 60. Well, it started to consolidate yesterday, kind of moving up and down and showing a little volatility. You actually touched the uh, 200 SMA, and I was telling myself, you know, then it bounced back up and hit that resistance again at 54. Well, today was a down day, and when we had that big knife at three big red candles, and I'm going to go ahead and change the time frame on this as fast as I can, we had little bounces up on this thing. So I was playing this stock every time it dipped. My first entry was right around here, around 43 cents, and I ran it up for two cents and flipped it. So I waited, came back down, and hit this target right around 40 cents. So I got in at 40 cents, ran it up, flipped it. She came right back down, and I timed it again. I got in here, and I took it up for a little ways, but I didn't ride it all the way up to the top. I got out, and I and I flipped it again so here I am again we flipped it back and it just up and down it was just a, a wonderful call today I was calling all the dips all the little knives every time it had a little knife that's when I got in it and the room was seeing me do this live and I flipped it eight times today well after hours if I'd have known this, noticed this we got down here at 38 cents so I probably would have bought some of it then too but so that's the way that goes and I'll catch this the first thing in the morning but this stock I, I followed it all the way up flipped it and today I followed it all the way down and flipped it and I was really impressed on at the end I kind of made a few mistakes and bought a little too many shares and I was down about 140 but she bounced back up and I was able to get out with a small small profit and then I just kind of said well I've had my fun with it I usually just like to make three trades and, and call it quits but Today and yesterday, I just found the right channels and the right stocks, and I just flipped it until I said I had enough of it. So that's TTMP. Keep it on watch tomorrow. There might be some more downside on it. If it dips and I see another knife, I'll get back in it again and do the same thing I did today. And the next one we're going to talk about, Vegas, is Mosey. Oh, yeah. Mosey Dozy. Well, that was not Mosey indeed. Uh, that was a really fun uh, stock today. I love it because I love stocks. But um, this trade uh, didn't actually touch it till it was around 30 cents and uh, ran as high as 39. Now, this chart, I'm going to let Jim talk about that in a second. But I do just want to briefly comment uh, just uh, about the fact that, you know, this company... Uh, provides uh, semiconductor solutions for data cloud networking and security test video systems. But they did hire two uh, directors, and those two gentlemen uh, come from the Silicon Valley sector. So I like that. Um, so they're uh, joining the company, the two gentlemen, 
uh, is uh, Scott and Bob. They're independent members of the board. And uh, they're going to, uh, Scott's going to come in and uh, his experience is in sales and marketing strategies at the Global Semiconductor Company. And Bob is coming in from the financial side, uh, working with small cap companies and growing them. So they're going to def definitely blend their two, uh, these two individuals. And uh, they're going to look at identifying also growth opportunities and increasing stockholder value. But that alone is not moving the chart. Uh, there's a lot of technicals here, and I'm going to let the chartist artist do all that. Over to you, Jim. All right. Today, Vegas called the breakout right around 28 cents to 30. And she noticed the volume. And I'm going to type this in real fast. And we were down here, and we seen yesterday it was starting to pull a little mustard up. It run up to 26, 27 cents, and then pulled on back after hours. And then she noticed right out of the gate this morning that it was starting to pick up the, the tape. was And the level two was showing her that there's some buys coming in on this. And then we ran it all the way up and we were talking to each other back and forth. Around 32 cents was going to be a nice little kind of a pivot point if it was going to break out. Now I'm going to pull up a 20-day chart on this just to show you what I'm talking about. The 20-day chart, you had this big old gap down from this thing. I mean, all the way from up here around 85 cents, all the way down to an oversold area right around 24. So it consolidated for almost three weeks. In the, and it had a little bitty breakout, but it, it just didn't want to break that 30. So yesterday, and I'm going to pull this chart up into uh, back to the one minute. So yesterday we started noticing that it did bounce up again, and it kind of caught our attention. So when we come in this morning, we noticed it hit the scanners. And this has been popping up on the scanners for us here a little bit. And so today we got it. We ran it up to 32. Vegas was patient, said just relax. It pulled back to around 28 cents for anybody to get back in the trade. And we hit back resistance again at 32. And then it pulled back and hit the moving averages and see how tight the bands are here on the moving average. That was telling me that we're going to have a little breakout right here. That's the 50, the 100, and the 200 SMA. Well, it happened. Once that band started, 50 started breaking out, that 50-day moving average at SMA it bounced up and hit 34 cents. Pulled back to that 32 again, which was a solid support, as you see, which was the old resistance. And then she just went ahead and followed that 200 all the way up and ran up to 40 cents there at the end of the day. We're bullish on this stock. We think it's going to fill the gap. We called this breakout. It probably wouldn't hurt for it to consolidate at morning, but we're going to see. I bet you it just starts going up again, and we're going to try to hit our target. And our target will be, let me change this time frame a little bit here to a 5-day or to a 20, back to the 20. We hit the first, we got this gap we got to fill up here. So this 39, this 40 cents was a real hard resistance. And when I mean hard, I mean because you got a big gap to fill. And that gap goes up to 55 cents. So I can't tell you where it's going to go in between this gap, but we've seen this trade before, not on this stock, but others. And we think it's going to go ahead and break out once it consolidates at this 40 cent area. And this is Mosey. And keep it on watch. And let's see what happens tomorrow with this baby. It is Friday. We could probably just consolidate. And then we'll come back in Monday and play a big bounce on it. Okay, so next one I want to talk about is ears. Uh, you guys know that uh, we did a commentary on this one a couple of weeks ago. And uh, the reason I'm watching it again, I actually took a starter on it today, really more from a bounce play uh, perspective, not really looking for this to really run huge. Uh, but in at around 68.93, so you might as well call it 69. And... Um, looking for this to eventually continue maybe to uh, 80 and then it'll be reassessed at that point. This could also pull back, but this is what's intrigued me on the stock. Uh, not only the fact that it's uh, obviously half price from where it was uh, not too long ago, but I also like the fact that the volume surged today. And also, I did also like the ADX, which is the average directional index. And that actually measures the trend strength without regard to the trend direction. 
And that to me looked pretty strong. So I liked it based on those two factors. So we'll see. I mean, I will keep a stop loss on this just so you know, at uh, 64 cents and uh, even maybe 63 at the most. If it drops below 63, then I will exit the trade. I'll be out for a loss, uh, but I am looking for this to reverse. And so just keep it on watch because the volume is uh, interesting to me too. So um, add that on your watch list and then Jim can talk briefly about that chart. Yeah, we had a, we called this thing out when it was at 29 cents. We started noticing that it's starting to break out and then there we went. We popped up to 78 and we ran this all the way up to two bucks. Vegas was just off about, I think, just a penny on this thing, three cents. She called two dollars and we went to 197. So ever since then, we've had a hard sell off. It bounces back up. It sells off. It bounces up. It sells off. Then we've had this sell off go on for two weeks now. So I'm thinking we're nearing the bottom. We're not there yet. But I'm looking at maybe around 57 if I want to try to get in this stock. But Vegas is in it. She's got her first position. And we're going to see how we play this stock. This is ears. Keep it on watch. I am like the tape today. It did kind of pull back a little bit after hours, right to support at 68 cents. And we got a double bottom. Let's see what happens tomorrow when we come in in the morning. And that okay. is ears. Ears. And hope you guys are all ears. Talk briefly also about Pura. Now, for those of you that are OTC traders, you would know today you had a great, great volume surge. I mean, 30.97 million shares traded. Yesterday, um, the average volume was like 13.82. So, you know, Puris had some action. Now, they did have um, news uh, after hours. And the news on Pura, uh, let me just grab it again because Jim's got it there, right? Yep. Um, is that they're going to, you know, release their dividends. And uh, they target November 15th the, to declare a one to five cannabis cultivation stock dividend. So that's interesting. They're going to do a one for five stock dividend. So I don't even like that's an interesting way to word things. Uh, they plan to release their uh, third quarter earnings on or before November the 12th. So I'll keep an eye on that because I want to know if it's going to be pre-market or after hours. And then promptly after that, they will announce a formal one for five stock dividend declaration. So that's going to be uh, interesting to watch. So I kind of still really like this company. Um, because I think this has potential for um, additional growth, especially in the medical cannabis sector. So uh, depends how you play it and, uh, you know, what your strategy is. So Jim can talk about what he sees maybe forthcoming on the way the chart's looking at the moment. Well, this was another easy play. It was an easy call. We called it at 5.5 cents before the breakout, and I, told, I alerted it to Vegas. She jumped right in it. She got her good position. She made some. We ran it up. It hit a little resistance right here around eight cents. Pulled back a little bit. So you had a second chance to get in the stock again. And then, right before the uh, the uh, legalization of marijuana in Canada, that's where we had all of our pot stocks, and that's when they all ran. Then on that day, they pulled back. But they had analysts had a price target on this thing for twenty five cents back here when when I alerted it back here when it was at five and look that sucker hit 25 cents exactly now I got out of this at 15 and then I flipped it on the way up and without holding the core position I just started flipping it we had that first dip when it hit 15 I called that dip I said I'm getting out of here at 15 cents and it pulled back and that was before it even got up there and then we pulled back to around 12 and it ran all the way up to hit that 25 and it's kind of pulled back and consolidated ever since after the legalization selling the news buy on rumor so we've pulled back we've had a couple opportunities to make some money on it and i like the idea of the dividend coming out that sounds very interesting i'm bullish on this stock i'm not in it right now but i will be and that is pura and you see all these yellow lines, I mean, that means I played the heck out of this stock. These are supports <laughs> and resistances that, that, uh, that I use. And I'll, I'll, I'll keep using them. They're called my extended trend lines. And I'm going to just pull up a daily chart just to 
get it out of the way real fast. See how they kind of clear up there a little bit? Yeah. So let's keep pure on watch. I think we're going to get a little rebound on this. I think the pot stocks are starting to, to warm up again. And that's it. That's Pura. Okay. And uh, one more OTC because I will say a lot of people like OTC stocks so I try to find one or two when they present an opportunity so one other OTC stock is MRIC so that's for MRI interventions love this uh, company um, started in this one about a year ago in the 170s meaning a dollar 70 zone uh, hasn't really done much but let me tell you something about this company this company had news tonight and uh, Jim's got the news there. But before I get into the news details of this company, uh, you know, this company works with, uh, you know, MRI uh, interventions. And uh, they've actually invested like $90 million into, you know, uh, advancing what, they're, what they have. And uh, they also are a competitor of another ticker called MD. T Medtronics, and if you guys look at the Medtronic stock, okay, that is a ninety-two dollar stock. Okay, so this company is the competitor, and if this company MRIC invested ninety million in themselves to develop this technology, uh, you know, wouldn't it make sense that a company like MDT potentially? could maybe consider down the road to buy this company out keep that in your head um <laughs> as a you know some you know this is how my brain works <laughs> no pun intended right um because they're into mri but uh, they have very good news great website and um jim's got the news there right jim yep okay the news is showcased there so have a look at the news but the news was interesting that uh, they did congratulate um, that they did have some good success with the uh, with some Alzheimer's uh, treatment. So uh, you know that's actually groundbreaking news, and so we might see some movement on this stock tomorrow, only because you guys know OTC only trades nine thirty until four o'clock. So obviously nobody in the market could have bought more shares of the stock um after hours because they don't have after hours in otc so we might see some little action and i did see some huge volume one huge volume spike just before the news got released a couple hours before so we'll see tomorrow what the market thinks about this news but uh keep it on watch because it could maybe move mric i'm looking at the chart oh. here all right it's kind of, I, I, I'm not, I don't see much volume on it. There we go. Let's look at the year here. This makes a little bit more sense. So MRIC, we're going to keep this thing on watch. It's broke up. It bounced off 139 and we come up here to 220. We pulled back down to this 100 SMA. We've got the 50 right here for a low support right around 174. And we got a risk resistance at 242. So we're sitting right here at a, maybe at a pivot point right now between the support level and the resistance level. Now this had a high of 365 and pulled back to 139. It's bounced up in the past month and few days. So let's keep this on very close watch tomorrow. I am. I'm going to be watching the tape. I'm going to be watching for the level two. And I'm just going to see um, how it's going to move, which is new to me, this stock. Yeah. So I always like to wait a day or two before I jump into something. And I'm I just want to comment too on this stock. Yeah. Um, is that five years ago, if you look at the five year chart, I think yeah. you'll be really surprised what you see. What price was it at back then, five years ago? No, well, three years I ago, three years mm -hmm. ago it was up at eight dollars. And if you go back to five years, look where it was. I see a high of seventy dollars. Maybe it has to do with splits or something, or just so, a sell off. Uh, I'd have to research. I've never I think they did a split ratio just so you know back in yeah, July I'm just seeing eight dollars so I don't see they did, a, they did a split in July 2016 yeah they did a one for 40 so when they did that 
the stock went down to um, one for 40. So that was back in July. So the price of the stock back then was around 708. Yeah. So brought you know that brought the stock down. Yeah. I'm so anyways, keep this back okay. keep this back on watch. This used to be a seventy dollars stock at one time before the one for forty split back in two thousand sixteen. So you know, looks like something's happening here at this company. So just keep an eye on it, and uh, we'll keep I'll keep watching and tracking what's going on. But you know, because it has news, so for those OTC traders, might interest them. Maybe tomorrow. Don't know. May not do anything. So just keep a watch. That's all. Okay. And last but not least, uh, Amazon. Lots of drama tonight after hours. I'll let Jim talk about the drama and then we'll wrap up this video. Yeah. Well, I'm going to pull up a uh, one year chart on this thing. And I've played this, I haven't played it, but I've charted it up for people. And today we pulled back, or here in the last couple of days, yesterday when we had the red day, we pulled back to the 200 SMA, which is at 1662. Then we bounced up, and today after hours, I'm going to pull up the daily one minute. And we had a big sell-off on it. It was up there at 1794 and pulled back all the way to 1615, and it's bounced up ever since. Now this is oversold, big time. But we've had a heck of a run on it too. I mean, from within a year, we've ran up from a thousand dollars all the way to two thousand. So it's a hundred percent gain. So we're going to let this settle down. We're about to pivot point between that between that nine hundred or that thousand dollar and that two thousand dollar ticket. And watch this tomorrow. I think you can get in it and still make money on this baby. And this is Amazon, and I do love the chart. I love the overselling that they've done on this thing. You see what happened here when we hit 1664 yesterday on a day when the market was red 800, 600 points. Well, we broke out from that 1600 and ran all the way up to, to uh, we, we could have made $130 on that trade just on that one sell off. So now we're down here at 615, and there's another opportunity you could have made 40 on it a share. I think it's going to bounce on up, probably settle around here around 1720. And this is Amazon, A M Z N, on an oversold reaction. All right. Well, you know what, guys? This is a wrap. We don't want to go on and on and on because we could, <laughs> but uh, you guys would be like bored. So um, we hope that you enjoyed the videos. Please like, please follow, please comment. We appreciate everyone for your support and for all the new followers. Thank you so much. We really, really, really value everybody that does comment and follow us. So on that note, tomorrow's Friday. We hope the markets, um, you know, they are unpredictable. So we will see what they will show us. Again, we just trade solid setups and try to find things that are going to help make us all money. So don't just trade just to trade. If you got to sit on your hands, then that's what you do. All right. So that's all for now. And I totally love stocks. And Jim, any last words from you? No, I just want to say thank you. If you want to follow me, come to our room. You can watch me do my challenge count. I'm doing it live in front of everybody. I started with 1,000. Today I hit 3,000. I'm excited about that. I got a one-year goal to run it up to 100 grand. And that's my that's new stock amazing. challenge. That yeah. is great work and congratulations. And it's yep. not talk about, we'll talk about that another night. Yep. About a challenge account and how it's actually not that easy to do. Yep. Whether you, you know, whatever you hear out there, it's not that easy. Uh, it takes a lot of work. So have a great night, everyone. See you all tomorrow. I love stocks. I love all the followers. And thank you again. And see you tomorrow. This is the aftermarket report with Jim in Vegas on October the 25th, 2018. And we love stocks. <laughs>